Hello and welcome to the International Training Centre here in Ipswich. What I'd like to do today is introduce you to the new Ransoms MT383. This is the latest municipal three unit cylinder mower from Ransoms, designed and built here in Ipswich. And this comes from a long line of parkway machines dating back for over 25 years. And for numerous reasons, for things like the stage five engines, you know, we had to make a, a real decision as to what we did with the parkway. You know, we couldn't keep it under the 25 horsepower break point for the new stage five emissions. So we needed to actually get a, a bigger engine in it, even bigger than what we had in the parkway three before. So we made that decision to actually redesign the machine in quite a large way. And what we've done, we've taken the, the well acclaimed chassis that we use on our MP series and used that chassis with slight modifications, making it a little bit smaller because it's only a, a triple mower, but used that really strong, well-liked chassis to make this triple machine. And with that bigger engine, we've got more power, with the chassis, it's a lot stronger, and also we've increased the operator comfort on the machine. So all round, it is a much better improved machine on the Parkway. And the Parkway was a very well liked machine, but this has brought it onto the, the next level. And what I'd like to do today is give you a, a tour around this machine and show you some of the, the features and benefits of it and how it can actually help you. Because what a lot of people forget is the fact that with a cylinder mower of this width, so 2.15 metres, 85 inch cutting width, we use the same engine that we would fit in a out front rotary. So we get the same horsepower, but we're actually getting a much wider cutting width. So your power to cut width ratio has changed significantly. So you're actually getting you know, a wider cut for that same amount of power and diesel use people forget that cylinder mowing is actually a very efficient way of cutting grass and using that power. And not only is it the fact that it's you know, 2.15 metres wide, being a triple, we've got that ability to lift and lower cutting units independently. They do follow the contours very nicely. So if you've got that type of grass that is you know, relatively well maintained and you want a better finish than you would get with a rotary, this sort of machine in a municipal application is a cracking bit of kit. Round the back of the MT383, we've, as I said before, we've used the chassis from the MP range, but we've made a few little adjustments. So we've changed the lights on the back, nicely shrouded now, so that you're not gonna get any damage to them. They're LED lights for longevity. We've got the bonnet up, as you can see, so your daily checks, part of your maintenance routine, is easily done. Also, we've got a reversing hydraulic fan on the back here now. So what this does, periodically, either timed or manual input, we can turn the fan the opposite way round, so any grass that's built up on the back here gets blown off. So we're getting a real good amount of air flowing through the system. And that's going into the two-piece um, cooler on the back. And they're not back-to-back, -back, they're side-by-side. -side. So you're getting full airflow right through the cooling pack. Very efficient, very easy to clean if you do get any dust in there. Uh, again, making life easier for all of your maintenance. One of the things we changed when we used this MP chassis was we restyled the bonnet and the side panels, just to make it a lot easier to get in there to do your servicing. As I said, at this moment, it's set up just so that you can do your daily checks. So I can get in very easily and get to the dipstick, I can check my water level, and I can check the air filter. But if the mechanic wants to get in and do more important you know, servicing things, we can very easily, just by removing a rubber catch, Take the side panel off. And now we can see we've got external filters on here. So when we're doing servicing, you haven't got to get right into the engine to try and find your filters. They're there, nicely presented to the service technician. 
you know, making life a lot easier. And then it, with a lot of things in this life, you know, if it's easy to do, it will get done. The other panel comes off the other side. Um, not so much on that side for the service technicians to do. We've grouped it all on the, the one side of the machine. So working forward along the machine, we've got the optional beacon on the top there, and we've got the standard fold down ROPS. So if necessary, well, with risk assessments allowing it, you can fold that down to go under trees um, and then fold it back up when needed. On either side, we've got the hydraulic oil tank on this side, nice gauge and filler on here, perfect for the service technicians to get in there and top it up. And on the other side, nice big filler for the operator to fill up with diesel. Ease of access onto the operator's platform. And with this operator's platform, it's ISO mounted. So we've got rubber mounts under that platform. So it's keeping vibration down to a very small amount. The vibration isn't traveling up through the chassis to the operator. Again, this is part of the, the added operator comfort that we've incorporated onto this machine that wasn't on the Parkway 3 before. So when the operator gets onto the machine, we've got the adjustable tilt steering wheel, so great access and get it exactly where the operator needs it. We've got the full suspension mechanical seat as standard, but with an option of an air seat. We've got armrests both sides, and the right-hand one is fully adjustable, up and down, left and right, with my lift and lower controls for the machine. I've also got a button on here for my traction control. So by pressing the button, I can take some of the weight off the cutting units and just give me a little bit more weight on the wheels for added traction. And one of the things we've done with this as well, when we go into the dashboard screen, I can actually adjust that traction control so it's on permanently. So if we've got an area that is a little bit damper, maybe in the spring, wetter time of the year, rather than having to hold my finger on the button, I can actually have it on permanently. So again, another little extra feature for this MT383. This particular one that I'm sitting on now has the option of the lights and wing mirror kit fitted on here, and also the large storage basket on the front. And this allows the operator to go out on the SMT383 for a whole day and carry everything he needs for that day's work. And it's all been well thought out for that respect. You know, not every machine is taken out as part of a crew with a van or a trailer. You know, this machine can go out on its own and be self-contained for his day's work. So as you can see on the armrest here, we've got three switches for your lift and lower, and all set out exactly as your fingers are. So the middle one's slightly further forward, so it's ergonomically designed. We have a green light lit on this particular one to signify that the front left cutting unit is down. So we can see by the lights on here, which cutting units are actually up and down. And here is the, the traction control switch. Here on the dashboard, we have a rotary dial for your engine revs. And with all these machines, you know, once the engine's warmed up, we run it at full power and then reduce it to tick over when we want to stop. We have four wheel drive as standard going forwards, but it defaults to two wheel drive in reverse. And by pressing the four wheel drive in reverse button and holding my finger on it, it does allow me to go in four wheel drive in reverse. We have a yellow switch for the PTO cutter engage switch. We've got the optional light switches on here for lights, beacon, and hazard lights. Internal hydraulic parking brake. So zero maintenance on that. The machine cannot be driven away with the brake on. So there's nothing to wear out and no maintenance needed. We've also fitted a new style screen. So full color, easily visible in any weather condition. So even in bright sunlight, you can actually see the screen. And there's a lot more icons on the screen now, so we can see more of what the machine is doing. I can actually go into there and check that all electrical circuits are working. 
and see that everything is working correctly on the machine. There's a lot of fault diagnosis in there, making it much easier for the operator and the service technician to make sure everything is working at its optimum. Also in there, I can go in and change cross cut for the cutting unit. So for one touch, they will come up just clear of the ground, allowing me to turn round. Or I can disable cross cut and have the, the units doing exactly as I move the switches. I can set the reversing fan, set the timing on it, how often that will come on and off. And because this is a stage five engine, it has the diesel particulate filter and will do a regen for that um, exhaust system every now and again. But there will be times when you don't want to do a regen, you know, if there's a lot of dry grass around. So it will allow you um, to inhibit that regen once maybe just so that you can get away from that dry grass and then do a regen somewhere a little bit safer. You know, we don't want the exhaust pipe scorching anything. So it's all been very well thought out. We have the 12 volt socket as well so you can charge your mobile phone during your day. When you start the engine, it's automatic glow plugs so there's none of the turning over of the machine waiting for it to start and a big cloud of diesel smoke. Again, you know, just making sure everything is much more reliable and user friendly on the machine. One of the things we haven't changed on this machine is the tried and tested Magna 250 cutting units. So 215 millimetres wide, or 10 inches, so a good size cutting unit, you know, allow some of that grass to really come in there and allow it to be cut. We've got toolless adjustment. So we, the operator can just by the feel or the clicks on the black knob on the end here, is bring your cylinder down to your bottom blade. So we just get that gentle swoosh as the cylinder goes past the bottom blade and cut the grass well. And because of the way it's designed, you know, we're going to get full discharge of grass clippings out of the back of this machine. You know, the full width of the cutting unit is the same width as what we're dispersing the grass cuttings. So it just makes it a lot better finish. Yeah, and we'll always get that best finish with a cylinder mower compared to a rotary or a flail. Yes, a little bit more maintenance and adjustment needed, but think about that efficiency. You know, we're 2.15 meters, 85 inches wide cutting width on this machine. But because the units are independent, you know, we can lift them to go past a fence post or something like that, lift it up to go past a bench. Even if you've got just a small strip of grass you want to cut, just cut with one unit. So it's given you a much more flexibility compared to a, a rotary machine. And that improved quality of, of cut. These cutting units are all welded construction, very, very strong. You know, they're gonna take an awful lot of punishment, you know, cutting municipal grass. And you know, this machine is designed to work hard all day long. And that's the strength in these cutting units is you know, very important for that all day cutting. Height of cut, just on the back there, allows your roller up and down. So, you know, depending on what the spec for the, the contract is, you know, you can change your height of cut for your cutting units and make sure everything is cut nice and easily. Grease nipples, very easy to get to on either end of your cylinder, on your adjusters, on your roller. So maintenance, again, very, very easy. You know, the cutting unit itself will move left and right, so it helps follow the contours and it's called it a fixed head cutting unit. So there's a roller on the back, no roller on the front. So we're allowing that grass to come into the cutting unit really tall and allow it to be cut off very, very easily.